Over the course of my lifetime, I have noticed that Democrats tend to have an inferiority complex when it comes to the process of politics. I mean, they definitely like their own ideas better than Republican ideas, but they tend to admire the way Republicans campaign for the, their ideas. They, they tend to admire Republican tactics and messaging, even if they don't like the Republican message itself. And maybe that is the key to Democrats finally figuring out that they really could be campaigning on health reform this year instead of hiding from it. Because today, Republicans started campaigning on health reform. Yes, GOP lawmakers today pledged in that pledge of theirs to repeal the health care law. Yes, that's true. It's plastered all over the document. We hate Obamacare. But then they also pledged to institute a whole lot of health reform policies that they have ripped right out of the dreaded Obamacare. GOP pledge, purchase health insurance across state lines. That is already in the health reform law. GOP pledge, ensure access for patients with pre-existing conditions. Oh, you mean like what's already in the health reform law? GOP pledge, eliminate annual and lifetime spending caps. Wonder where they got that idea. That's not only in the health care law, the provision kicked in today. Six months after Obama signed the dreaded ghastly Obamacare into law. And there's more in the health reform law that Republicans want to repeal. And then they want to get political credit for bringing it back again. The single craziest thing about this is that Republicans will be able to claim credit for those good Democratic ideas on health reform that they like and want to campaign on as long as Democrats stand aside and let them do it. Today, the very day that insurance companies can no longer stop covering Americans because of pre-existing conditions. Today, the day that if you are up to the age of 26, you can stay on your parents' health insurance. Today, the day you, the health insurance companies can no longer tell you you've exceeded the company's cap on what your life is worth. Today, on that day, on the day that all those things became true because of the Democratic health reform law, Republicans were the only lawmakers in the country campaigning on health reform in their shirt sleeves at a hardware store in Virginia. Republicans campaigning on the Democrats' health reform plan and all the good stuff that's in it. Democrats, it's your choice. You can campaign on your accomplishments or you can let Republicans campaign on your accomplishments. Your choice. 40 days till Election Day. Joining us now is my friend Eugene Robinson, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for the Washington Post and an MSNBC contributor. Hi, Gene. Thanks for being here. Great to be here, Rachel, but I, I got to confess, I'm still struggling to get past miscegenation among finches, but we'll, but we'll move on. <laughs> See, the finches and their inappropriate sexual desire for mm -hmm. other wrong finches tells us that it's Rachel, bad you to know watch you the remake of Othello. <laughs> you know you can't go there, <laughs> so let's just move on. <laughs> he actually, like, he's the candidate, you know. Anyway, <sighs> sorry. Um, all right, common wisdom is that health reform is toxic, it's this third rail Democrats won't run on it. The only yeah. Democrats who will run on health reform are those who voted against it. If that's true, then why are Republicans running on health reform? Well, that would be a good question. And, and, and maybe the answer would be that um, there are uh, many, many of the elements of the health reform package. In fact, most of the elements of the health reform package are popular among Americans and have always been popular among Americans. If you asked uh, throughout the entire health care debate, if you asked people, you know, do you want Pre, you know, the pre-existing conditions like this. Do you want um, uh, children to be able to stay on their parents' policies? Do you want no lifetime caps? Do you want this? Do you want that? They all said, yes, of course they want it. These would be, this, this would be great ad advances and, and would make the system so much fairer than, than it is. Uh, so the Democrats give them, uh, give people all of this and now are afraid to talk about it. And the Republicans, who must have been paying closer attention to those polls, say, hey, here's something people like. Let's put it in our uh, pledge to America. It's, it's, it is, it is, uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. Well, do, do you think then it's not a coincidence that House Republicans chose today of all days to unveil this big pledge to America um, you know, in their shirt sleeves at that lumber yard in Virginia? Is it a coincidence that they picked for the big unveiling the same day that all these really popular health care provisions went into effect. 
Well, it, 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 I'm not sure whether it's a coincidence or not. I mean, it, you know, I, I think their timing actually was was really pretty pretty bad because the mo at the moment they were unveiling their pledge to America, President Obama was speaking to the United Nations and everyone was covering that live, so they didn't even get live coverage for uh, for their big announcement. So, uh, um, so I'm, I'm I'm not sure I'm I'm as in awe of their their scheduling prowess as I, <laughs> as I am of their the kind of political jujitsu. Uh, that they're doing uh, with 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 health care. It's amazing, and you're exactly right, because we, you know what they say, well, we want to get rid of you know this big government takeover, and but we want to put all the good stuff back in. Um, of course, we don't want to fund it, but, um, you know, whatever. We want to get rid of the dreaded Obamacare and then put all of the components of Obamacare back into, back into yes. effect, but we want, to, we want to call them ours. Right, the because you like them. You yes. like them. We <laughs> exactly. know you like them. <laughs> The Democrats don't know you like them, but we know you it's like them. It's amazing to me. The, the thing that is not amazing to me is that Republicans are doing this. The thing that is amazing to me is that Democrats um, are not, oh. and even refusing to follow the president's lead in, in really rolling out mm -hmm. some effective campaigning on health care um, this oh. week. Gene, let me also ask you about Democrats' reported decision today to not force a vote on middle class tax cuts, to not force a vote in which Republicans would presumably vote no on middle class tax cuts because they wanted them for the richest people in the country. Why not force that vote before the election? Well, good question. Why not force that vote? The whole buildup of the last several weeks has been to force that vote, which seemed to me, from the point of view of the Democratic Party, to be very good politics. You either uh, uh, have to put the Republicans on record as saying, uh, you know, we, we specifically um, uh, want to preserve tax cuts for, for millionaires and billionaires, and so we're not going not gonna, to, you know, not going to vote for your version of this bill, or, um, or, you, or you make them go along with it. And, and, and you uh, go a long way toward um, solving some huge long-term fiscal issues. Uh, it, it seemed to be no loose. But Democrats, of course, are always nervous now, individually, and, and nervous about keeping their majority together. And I, I, I suspect there was a lot of, of uh, concern about how many uh, Democrats might just kind of wuss out. Amazing to me. Uh, let me ask you one last brief question about this, Gene. The Republican pledge um, is very clearly supposed to be this year's version of 1994's Contract with America. Interesting that it got a very hostile reaction from a lot of the right, from places mm -hmm. like uh, the Red State Blogs and, and Club mm -hmm. for Growth. How important is that? Is that just a sign of sort of healthy division uh, on the right as the different factions try to fight it out? Or does that m sort of mean something more important about how this moves forward? You know that um, the, the for the red state people. I mean that that it, it kind of confirms what they always thought about the, the the Republican leadership in Washington, which is that they they're much more interested in in getting reelected than in serving what um, red state and and those groups would consider um, uh, bedrock conservative principles. Uh, what what I think it it does though, again, if the Democrats will take advantage of the opening, is uh, instead of just being the party of no, the, the Republicans have come out with all the stuff that, if you try to parse it, makes no sense. You, you know, it makes no no fiscal sense. It doesn't make sense in terms of the deficit. It, it, it you can't make this add up. And so now the thing to do would be to make them defend it and explain how you extend the make the tax cuts all permanent and still fix the deficit. How do you do that? And if Democrats don't start now they have a blueprint um, you know from which to, to, to press Republicans on all these issues and they have to be able to gain ground that way so if they don't do that then I uh, we give up <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah sometimes we give up every day and then we press on through the course of the and day and hope we, we get our hope back on. Gene Robinson Pulitzer Prize winning columnist for the Washington Post and uh, proud to say an MSNBC contributor thanks for joining us tonight Gene great to be here Rachel